I was born in Sudan, uh, Niala. Life there was fine, I guess, because I was a little kid, so when you were born there, you wouldn't know what's bad, what's good, because you're a little kid. I didn't live there for that long, uh, four years. I still remember the culture and stuff like that. There in Darfur it was like, a, I guess, like a war. People come from different places just to attack. If you have money, they take you, they take it for, away from you. The best option is for you to stop and give them whatever you have to survive. And I left Sudan when I was like four, four and a half. I went to Egypt and I lived there almost my whole life until 2012, that's when I moved here to the U.S. The reason why we moved to Egypt is uh, because back then my dad had to quit school to support his family. And after a while, my, his brother graduated from college and he went to Egypt. He settled there and everything. Then I was like, oh, okay, now I finished my education and I settled and I have money. I'm going to bring you to Egypt to have a better life. And so then people were like same skin as mine. And when I went to Egypt, I see like Arabs and just a lot of black people there, not that much. People at the beginning were racist. They call you names and stuff like that. But as I got to know more people, we became friends because we play soccer. Like in Egypt, a lot of people play soccer on the streets. So you just get there, you're like, oh, I want to join and play. When, when you're good, they want to get to know you better and better and better. Life it wasn't that difficult, but still there's struggle. You, there's always struggle, and everywhere you go there's struggle. My mom was talking about it. You're like, uh, you know, you guys should get ready and stuff like that. So school is over now, and we're going to America. And I just look at them. I didn't, I didn't believe it at all until we started doing a lot of paperwork. And I was like, oh, so they're actually serious about it. I was happy and I was sad at the same time because if you really think about it, you're leaving the people that you have grown up with your entire life. you suddenly leaving them to go to different places, different culture. My friends came with me to, to an airport to say goodbye for the last time and I took some pictures from them so I can remember them when I come here and I gave them some pictures also. Once I took the airplane, I was inside there. I was just looking down, trying to wave to my friends, but I can't see anything. It's just dark outside. When we came to Fargo, we saw people coming to us who were like, oh, hey, how are you guys doing? We're your case managers. As soon as they opened the door, like, I see some white stuff a little bit. I was like, what? What is this? I, I was surprised. And the guy was like, oh, don't worry. That was, that was just snow and it's going away right now. And I was like, what is that? I, I didn't know what snow is. I was scared. From there, we went to the hotel. I thought I was like I was the president going inside the hotel, just walking, like people say, hi, hi, and smiling. I was like, wow, people are really nice here in America. They tell us, if you want to eat breakfast, come at seven in the morning. I was like, what? Seven in the morning? Seven in the morning? In Egypt, we don't eat breakfast during that time. We eat breakfast like around 1, 2, 12, I guess. I see yogurt, different colors. And in Egypt, it's just one color, like the white yogurt. There they say strawberry yogurt, mango, or peach. I was kind of scared to taste it. I was kind of a little bit, I don't know, worried about not finding friends here. I told my parents I want to go back. They were like, what's up? How, how come you want to go back? They say life here is way better than me. Suddenly, I open the window, I see other people playing soccer. I was like, wow. I thought I wouldn't find people here to play soccer in America. And that's how I made friends. I was like, wow, okay, so it's easier to make friends through sports. If you ask people around the school here, they'd be like, oh, Muhan, he does every single sport. Even from different schools, they know my name. They say, hi, Muhan, but I don't know them. I joined track. I started running, I was like, oh, okay, I used, I used to do this, I used to do this, I, I can run, I play soccer, I can run. I was like, okay, I'm going to join. I started running with them. People started getting closer to me. I was like, okay, if you're successful, successful, people come closer to you. 
And from there, that like motivates me to work harder and harder, to make more friends, to, to be like, you know, like normal people here. Because you know how we have friends here, you talk to him, you talk to him, you talk to her, you have best friends. I didn't have best friends because I'm new. So I had, I had to find a way to get friends, to be my best friends. In Egypt, the school doesn't look the same as here. You know, they give you like tablets and stuff like that to use it here, but there are no, you use your notebooks. And you use like, not, not like you use the chalkboard and stuff like that. But here they have the electronic board and I was like, wow, is this even real? I was like, wow, they're also nice when they teach you. They don't hit people here. But in Egypt, you come, you come late to class, you're getting whipped. You don't do your homework, get ready to get whipped. I want to be a en computer engineer for a reason, because my uncle back then in Egypt, he used to like fix computers and stuff like that. And I wanted to go there close by him for a reason. I wanted to learn to see the stuff that he's doing, but he wouldn't let me come close by him. And I was like, oh, okay. One day, I'm going to get older and do the same thing you're doing and even better. I went for a job shadow and I see people sitting on a computer typing like that and sitting by themselves, like they're working by themselves. And I kind of don't like that because I like working with people. I like being around people, like working as a team. So that's the part that I kind of don't like it. But still, I want to go for that to reach my goal that I said. You learn as you grow up, your mind open, but you don't just learn everything when you're born. You have to experience stuff to see the difference. And that's when I started like, oh, okay, that would be a good lesson. If I don't, if I don't know anything, I have to go farther, search to learn more about it.